Hey, we're at the Daisy Barn RV Park just outside of Wilson, New York. Thought we'd give you a short tour just in case you find yourself in the area and you might be curious. Hang on. All right, so as you approach, pay attention. If you're approaching from the west, you're going to actually turn in on the other side of the barn. I made the mistake and turned in the first entrance, which actually worked out, but it wasn't the right way. You're going to turn in right here. Then, as you come in, you're going to find a spot to stop up here any way out of the way and go into the office right over here and they'll get you checked in. Now, they don't lead you to your site, so that's okay. Now, all these sites on the right-hand side are pull-throughs, and there are some seasonals here. And all the ones over here to the left are back-ends, but as you can pretty much tell, if you're here for a visit, you won't have to worry about them because they're seasonal. There's a nice site right there. So the house you see, or the building you see, are actually some apartments that they rent. Up here on the left-hand side is, uh, there is a uh, laundry room. And at the back of that building are a couple restrooms. And here's the laundry. So it looks like uh, two washers and two dryers. Buck fifty and a buck. And a buck fifty and a buck. There you go. I don't know what you can do over there. Clean something. All right, let's take a look at these restrooms. Yeah, so stalls. There you go, nice and clean. Must be showers back there. Yeah. Nice and clean restroom. I like it. Notice a pond down there. A lot of uh, geese hang around. So if you have kids running around, pay attention to that. A lot of geese poop. Goose poop. All right, now you're going to notice uh, there's some more pull-throughs to the right. Now, right in this area is, I think, typically where people get to come stay. There's the pond over there. You'll see us coming at the end down on the left-hand side. All these pull-throughs are real nice pull-throughs. I think that's what we were supposed to have when we first made reservations, but it didn't come out that way. And there you'll see our site right there. Probably the least desirable site in the entire park. And maybe even the hardest to get into because of the electrical boxes you see there and the angle of the dangle but that's all right we got in okay but and i guess the good side is there's plenty of room for parking for us now this is the road that takes you toward the exit and all the sites off here to the left seem to be a little bit shorter and they filled up over the weekend and then they emptied out right after the weekend. Across the pond is a real nice section up there. We're going to take you up there and show you. And up here to the right is their actual exit. You'll also notice a uh, garbage container over there. Some little back end sights down here on the right hand side.
Looks like that one right there is actually a seasonal. I think that's number 79. And this one straight ahead of us looks like he's a seasonal as well. Now this is where it's nice. If you can see out there right now, you can see the lake. That's Lake Ontario. Across there in that greenery across the gully right there is a house they also rent out as well. And you can see over here a bunch of pull-throughs. This is a real nice section over here. You might even get a look at the uh, the lake. There's a couple sites they haven't even finished up. They have power pulled. Here you can see a playground for the kids. There's somebody that took their fifth wheel and pulled it in nose first so they can get a view of the lake. Same thing here. Obviously they're seasonal so they're going to have those sites all tied up. And there's that building. This side of the building are the restrooms. And then the laundry rooms are on the opposite side. So now we're going to take you over and show you a spot you probably won't care about. Because if you're coming through here just to visit for a few days or a week or whatever, this area won't come into play for you. But we're going to take you through it real quickly anyway. And the reason for that is because it's for the annuals. As you can tell, they have patios set up. Here is another restroom, another laundry over here, by the way. And I'll show you that. And here's another set of restrooms, showers, and laundry. Let's check this out. All right, so looks like two wash machines and two dryers. Buck fifty and a dollar. Got an iron over here you can use. That's good. That's the ladies, and here's the men's. There you go, there's your showers. Good enough. What more do you need? But you can tell here they have the large propane tanks all set up. They have their decks all put in place. But it's also probably the least desirable for overnighters because they back up tight to each other. They're smaller sites. And the ones that are lucky enough to come down here, again, they got view of the lake. All right, that a little uh, traffic jam there, no big deal. All right, and we continue on with the long-term residents over here. I guess if you're looking for a long-term spot to stay and you want to be by Lake Ontario, it's something to consider. Also inside that building, there's a nice little area that you can uh, like have a gathering at. There's a there's a uh, pool table, some kids games, some tables you can play some games at, and I'll show you that. So I think they have a uh, room here you can reserve, and a small game room also. Let's go check it out. Yeah, check it out. Got a few tables here. You can have a nice gathering in here. I love the barn doors. 
Some more tables. You can get a card game going in here. So you can also rent golf carts if you so desire. Nice TV setup. Got a pool table over here. An ATM. And a small store. So it's closed right this second. But uh, you can get some sodas and ice. Small selection of candy bars. Gatorade. There you go. You can get your change machine there and a couple games for the kids, it looks like. Yeah. It's a nice room. And over here to the left is a dump station. Now we're going to head back over to our site. All right, here's our site, number 58. All right, well, we really enjoyed our stay here at the Daisy Barn Campground. We found it to be a really good spot to base from to go check out Niagara Falls and the old fort in the area and some other things in the surrounding area. We would certainly stay here again if we came through without hesitation. So we stayed here over the Memorial Day weekend. I think we paid uh, like $45 a night for the weekly stay and then we were charged an extra $10 a night for the holiday days, which is fine, that's not uncommon. And then we had a slight medical emergency come up. I came down with vertigo, and when it got close to travel day, I didn't feel like I should be hauling the rig. So we did extend our stay one extra day. So on that one extra day, we did get charged the daily rate, which I think was, well, we got charged $60. So hopefully that's the daily rate. So instead of doing what some people do and saying, hey, you were here a week and it averaged out to 45 bucks a night, so we're just gonna charge you $45 for your extra night, we got dinged for the daily rate, which is fine. But if you look around, uh, the park's pretty empty. So uh, we're not upset about it. We're happy to be able to stay that one extra night just to be safe instead of towing around. But uh, just so you're aware that is probably what happened if you tried to extend your stay here as well so it's a dad and son team the son got me for the 60 bucks i kind of get a feeling that dad may have worked out a different deal but again we don't care we're just reporting to you what happened for us and again it doesn't dampen how we feel about staying here we would stay here again if passing through the area anyway that's it you know we hope you enjoy the campground reviews we do as we travel around the country if you do, we really would appreciate a thumbs up. Makes us feel good. It helps the algorithms here on YouTube. Uh, maybe leave us a comment down below. Have you stayed here at Daisy Barn Campground? Are you going to stay here in the future, do you think? We'd be curious to hear about it. Anyway, as always, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.